What's up guys, I'm Phoenix Master one and welcome to my in-depth analysis and review of Salem, our newest Stranger battle unit. So he's a red infantry mage again and uh, he actually comes with a pretty nice weapon that is going to be useful on a lot of red mages who do not have any kind of preferred weapon. So he has got Rother Vulture Plus and this is basically a Plagian Tome. So you have probably seen Plagian Torch and how it functions. We have seen uh, Plagian Weapon Refines on a couple of units as well like Mail Morgan for example. It requires the enemy to have visible debuffs on their attack and resistance and it adds those visible debuffs into the combat as well so you can get a lot more bulky and also hit much harder. There's one condition of activating this weapon and that is to be solo. So it could definitely be run on some other red mages who do not have preferred weapon. Arete is a pretty good example because she's already a cavalry unit so the solo condition is not really a problem for her and she can definitely try and run a menace skill. Attack Resistance Menace has got amazing synergy with this Vulture Tome. Of course you can run allies who can also provide you with those debuffs, but having the Menace skill just makes you more self-sufficient. Peleus and Ark are also some really popular merge projects that many people invest into. So this Vulture Tome does make him into a pretty good fodder and he himself can make pretty good use of this. His base kit has got Attack Resistance Push 3 at 4 star, which we have got so many times on so many units, and he also has Sabotage Attack. So Sabotage Attack is a new skill that is present on a Grail unit and it is unlockable at 5 star but it's a really good support skill that could be run on support units like Elemine for example or just units who have got high resistance and it does combo up pretty well with Phantom Resistance Sacred Seal. I really wish that they gave him Attack Rest solo because it would be the perfect opportunity to give that as it will have good synergy with the Vulture Tome. As for his stat spread he has got base 38 attack which is pretty nice and base 36 speed which is definitely workable at max investment and he does have really high resistance at base 38. His defense is not really too high and HP is about what you'll expect out of any kind of mage. And he can definitely be compared to other red mages because not having a preferred weapon pretty much means that he does not stand out. And when you compare him you will find out that he's basically like a new gen Miranda. So we did get Miranda a year ago and she pretty much takes no grills and has got extremely similar stat spread to Salem, actually having more defense than him at the cost of having a bit less HP and attack. So Miranda does not really need trade fruits either so if you're just looking for this kind of offensive stat line then she could be useful and then Peleus is also an option who has got much less resistance but has got a bit more attack and he actually has an attack super boon as well so if you want to heavily invest into him that attack super boon can definitely help you. Salem can also be compared to the real Plagian red mage and that is male Morgan. So Grima's truth does have the debuffs built into it so he doesn't really need to run menace skills like these other mages using vulture tome and Grima's truth also has the Plagian effect on the speed stat so male Morgan ends up being a lot faster than Salem. He's definitely going to be taking you more dragon flowers, but he's someone that you could consider who does have a preferred weapon. And it's really hard for Salem to stand out purely based on stats because he can only do so much when we've got so many red mages. So he has got decent stat spread for an offensive mage if you want to invest into him, if you're a big fan of him from Thracia. And he does have good resistance and attack, but having no preferred weapon and having this kind of stat spread definitely doesn't do him any kind of favors and there are a lot of other free to play red mages that are a lot more unique like male morgan arvis kanaz julius just to name a few and because of not being able to stand out he's likely gonna get par crept in future by a unit who has got more stats than him or just ends up having a preferred weapon so not a lot of people are gonna be investing into him unless they're already a big fan of salem from thracia if you want to build up Salem on a budget then you can just run Fury 3 so that he can enhance the usage of Sabotage Attack and you can also run Blade Session so that he can get more offenses and Resistance Smoke unfortunately is not the easiest skill to get because it's only present on 4 star Branya in the Grail pool so you will have to spend Grails to get that so that's why on a budget you can just run Attack Tactic but if you're trying to invest a bit more into him then you can get resistance smoke from Branya and also speed resistance solo from Urk. And loud speed resistance is already present in the divine code section. Having resistance and attack debuffs is going to be appreciated by any kind of vulture tome user. And because it does have the solo condition you can definitely run these solo skills. And at max investment you can just run attack speed solo on both Slotty and sacred seal. And this can allow you to stack up his speed even further. And Attack Resistance Menace is going to be the best slotsy skill with this weapon. So if you want to heavily invest into a Vulture Tome Mage, then this is something that you can run. And because he's going to be able to get a lot more bulky because of those attack debuffs, running Null Follow-Up is going to be helpful with that high speed. 
Glimmer is the special that you should be running here because Moonbow is not going to be the best as we're going to be reducing the resistance of the opponent by a lot. So it's not going to be giving you the best damage output and Glimmer can definitely help you with that, especially with the high attack that Salem already has got. If you want to use him for in-game content, then you can simply run him with a life and death flashing blade special spiral build. And with this build and three dancers, you can clear up most of the abyssal content, chain challenges and stuff like that. So if you're a big fan of him and you just want to use him a lot, then this could be an option for the in-game content. Finally, if you do want to invest into him for Arena with Ardul Infantry 4, then he has to run the Menace skill for sure because he does not have a preferred weapon, so you need a 300 SP slotsy skill to get the max scoring. And if you want to give him the Tome that can give him more speed, then Luminous Grace is an option which gives you speed in both phases, unlike the Fox Tome. So this does allow you to max invest into his speed and he can pretty much hit 69 speed with this kind of build. Attack speed unity can work out as we're running the joint drive skill and also the form skill and luminous grace does not really have a solo condition like the vulture tome so it could definitely be helpful. Usually I would have a section here that would go over how he would be better if he had a preferred weapon but honestly I feel like red mages have suffered for such a long time who didn't have a preferred weapon and not an easily available inheritable tome so someone has to take one for the team and come with this kind of plagian vulture tome and one thing which I would have really wanted on him was probably having a solo skill in Slotty instead of getting attack resistance push for the millionth time. So yeah, that is Salem. He's not going to be standing out too much, but still he can be worked out if you do invest into him. And he's also a really good fodder. So hopefully you guys enjoyed my unit review. If you did, then make sure to leave a like and a comment. Helps me tremendously. And if you really, really enjoyed, you could always support me directly by using super thanks or by becoming a YouTube member. And for more Fae analysis videos, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell because I wish YouTube sub boxes would show my videos as many times as we got attack resistance push on these units. So with that, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.